Dallas in that game. But Mike Price's defense came out strong in the first half Wednesday. Willie Carter with the rock, but Melvin Stevenson puts, oh. the, puts the suplex on him. Just yes. flips him right up. <laughs> UTEP gave up 49 points in the first half of last year's game. They led 13-7 at halftime of Wednesday's game, and then Donald Buckram took over. Look at Buckram. I mean, if you're going to be a, a running back, Buckram's a good name to have. Gets inside the 10, and then Buckram will finish the job. He had 165 yards and a pair of touchdowns. UTEP is rolling. They beat Tulsa. Off to a 2-4 and four start after their worst start since 76. Taking on UNC, who had a special guest, LT, in the house. We were the third best defense in football, behind Dallas Cowboys and Pittsburgh State. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Tar Heel great, LT. Best linebacker to play in the NFL, maybe. First quarter, Christian Ponder to Burt Reed, and he is lit up by Kendrick Burney. And LT is like, go down there like a bunch of crazed dogs. <laughs> Later in the quarter, Ponder. I like the Tar Heel uniforms here. It's a good look. It's the first time ever in the Navy Blue. I love that. They love this. So does LT. Marvin Austin picks up the fumble as that four-man defensive front. They All they needed was four to get to Ponder. Ensuing possession. Look at Julius Pepper. He's there, too. That, that's the guys they need to suit up right there. <laughs> TJ Yates to Ed Barham. And the Tar Heels have a 14-3 lead. It's 24-13 in the third when Ponder to Rod Owens. 98 yards after he breaks the tackle. Wow. Florida State cuts the lead to 24-20. How did he get so open? That double move right there. Charles Brown slips. Oh, Charlie Brown, good grief. Tied the school record for the longest pass play in school history. Ponder, career high. 395 yards, including the go-ahead touchdown in the fourth to Bo Relaford. So the Seminoles have a three-point lead. They've been involved in some close games. Here's Bobby Bowden, courtesy DirecTV Mobile Studio on those close calls. Well, they're fighting hard. They're fighting hard. Every game's down to the last minute. You know, people say, well, how close are you? Well, we're down to the last minute. That's how close we are. And this one goes down to the last second. Last chance for the Tar Heels. Down three. Clock has already hit zero. And Yates hits the turf. Bowden's team wins a close one, 30 to 27 on the road. Well, as seen on ESPN2, Rutgers taking on Army. You can see the weather in West Point. Greg Seattle's Rutgers team looking to beat Army for the sixth straight time. First quarter, Army forced a punt. At least they thought they were. Jonathan Bulls can't handle the step. Steve Bullharness with a touchdown. Take another look at it. Once he dropped the snap, he had no chance. Punters not known for their ball skills oh. if it doesn't involve kicking it. And Bohan is easiest touchdown he'll ever get. <laughs> Not Second, one of your playmakers. Second quarter now. Still 17-3 Rutgers. Trent Steelman on the option. Oh, that's not just strong. Oh. That's Army strong. Until Devin McCourty mm. says, what's up, dog? Four plays later, Steelman on the keeper again. <laughs> <laughs> he coughs it up. Damaso Munoz has got it. That kills the Army drive. Then third quarter now, mm. Kingsley Ahe fumbles as well. Army misses another opportunity. Next possession for them. Brad Gallup gets the handoff. He can't hang oh. on. Kasim Green recovers for Rutgers. I hope they take better care of our military secrets. That would lead to this. First and goal now fourth quarter. Joe Martinek, 139 yards rushing for him. Rutgers wins it 26.